Hey everyone, Adam from 4X Innovations. We've got a fun project for you today. Ever since I entered the off-road world, and since I started 4X Innovations ten and a half years ago, everyone's always argued and questioned what's the best type of rock slider to have. Hot rolled round tube, DOM round tube, or square tube. So we took the truck, welded a hot rolled slider to it, welded a DOM slider to the other side, and then we're actually going to do a two inch square tube slider as well. We're going to do some tests on the main tube. We're going to pick it up to six, 10, and 12 inches on all three different types of sliders, drop it on the main tube straight on the boulder. Then we're going to move to the outer tube. We're going to do six and 12 inch drops there, and then we'll see how damaged they are, and we'll see if we can keep going. Now, it's important to understand that these tests are in only intended to be a baseline comparison between the three different types of sliders to get a good feel for which material may be the right choice for you. We are dropping the truck with the ledge of the boulder four inches above ride height, so the slider is taking the brunt of the impact force. But at a certain point of deflection, the suspension will begin to absorb some of the force. We feel that in the grand scheme of things, this will still be an even comparison between the three sets of sliders. And if we get to a point where we're not satisfied with the results, we'll figure out a different way to do it and we'll up the ante. I'd also like to say, please make sure that you watch the entire video before asking questions. We've done the best job that we can to answer questions in the video with the testing, but we encourage you to ask questions that have not been answered in the video. Thanks for watching. That's the hot rolled side, dropped from six inches. Not bad. Here's the hot rolled side after the 10 inch drop. You can see there's just a little bit of a dent right here. Maybe about an eighth of an inch or so. It's not real bad. So here's our hot roll slider after dropping from 12 inches. You can see there's actually a little bit of a bow in that main tube now. That was a pretty gosh darn hard hit. There's two rather large dents. Better to see right there. Hot roll slider drop test, outside tube, six inches. All right, hot rolled slider, six inch drop on the outside tube. No damage. Uh, not even worth a close up, really. Here's the slider after the dropping the outer tube from 12 inches. There is actually very minor denting but you might be able to see the outer tube is slightly bent now. Not bad. Still certainly very able to open the door, no problem there. So we just did the 18 inch drop test on the outside tube of the hot rolled sliders. You can see there is a little bit of a bend on the outside tube now. The main tube is also bent a little bit more, but with no weight on the truck or on the slider, it's still not touching the body. When we pick it up with forklift, it does touch the body now since there's a little flex in the legs, but uh, still very easily able to open both doors. On the rear by the kickout, the fender flare might touch a little bit, but you would still be able to get in and out. Um, overall, pretty happy with this. 18 inches is a long ways to fall. That's a really hard hit. Uh, you are going to feel that in your back. You just don't want to make a habit of that to start with. So, pretty good results. Going to do the dom side. Let's check that out. So 
I'm going back through our footage here and I realized that uh, we didn't take any pictures of the DOM slider after we dropped it on the main tube for the 10 and 12 inch drops that we did. Um, so I've got a few shots from when we were doing the outer drops that kind of show the main tube. So I showed those and I'm going to show you the main tube as it is now. It's bent a lot more from these really heavy outside tube drops. They're um, affecting the entire slider. There's another angle showing the dents and scratches on the main tube here. Um, not sure if we had like a actual little piece of gravel or if we managed to find the very point of one of the corners of the rock there. Comparing to the dents that we have here, which we are uh, at the front of the slider where we did that last 18 inch drop. Um, you know, there's almost no dent there. There's just a very slight dent. Here is the six inch drop on the outer tube of the dom side. No damage, just a few scratches. And here is the results of the 12 inch drop on the DOM tube. Little bit of very slight curve probably a quarter of an inch of bend or so underneath still basically no damage a few very minor dents just did the 18 inch drop of the DOM slider onto the boulder very long drop very hard hit was enough to actually bounce the opposite side of the truck definitely not something that I would have wanted to be sitting in you're gonna feel that one but you can see that the sliders got just a very slight bend to it on the outer tube um, it was enough of a hit to flex the slider legs into the rocker split seam and dent the split seam but it is not actually touching the split seam with no weight on the slider so you know you're still not going to get rattles uh, driving around with it also still plenty of room to the door i mean you can see i'm opening it by the bottom of the door for the front door back door same thing fender flare doesn't even touch Dom slider on the kick out. <laughs> well, we just did 18 inch drop on the DOM slider on the kick out itself. And honestly, it's, it's actually less bent than when we dropped it further up on the slider. Um, you can't even tell that it bent at all. The door still opens just fine. It doesn't even touch the fender flare on the limited flares. There is no denting whatsoever on the bottom of the tube here. Which is also really interesting because the way the tube is shaped, we actually point loaded on two spots. It wasn't flat across like the main piece, so Really impressive results on that. Again, 18 inch right on the kick out. We're gonna go to two feet. You guys ever wondered what would happen if you dropped your truck two feet onto a solid boulder? If you got our sliders on it, not much. You can still open the door. It, it just scuffs a little bit, but 
still works just fine. <laughs> oh, and before you go like, oh, well, this is suspension. Oh, we've got it blocked up right now. So we actually can't move this truck without picking it up off of the boulder. The boulder is above ride height. So there's not suspension absorbing the fall. Very, very little damage to the slider. It's bent up a little bit. Um, there's almost no denting underneath, which I'm honestly even pretty darn surprised by. So again, you're gonna beat on your truck? Dom slider is where it's at. Good stuff. I wanted to see what the difference between having the tires hitting the ground or just having the truck free fall and the slider itself stop it. So the last two clips there was dropping the truck on the slider. Again, we're still on the dom side uh, with the tires removed. So the slider was absorbing the entire force of the impact. The first one was a 12 inch and then we did an 18 inch drop also. Uh, you can see the slider is a bent a little bit more with the 18 inch drop than the previous 18 inch drop which is down here. So it is taking a little bit more impact. Um, the dents underneath are actually pretty similar. We're getting a little bit of variation in those dents just based on where on the actual surface of the rock the slider is hitting. So that's not really surprising. Uh, still very happy with how it held up. So we actually noticed that the last two drops on these Dom sliders has actually dented the frame around the quarter inch support plates. So most of the deflection that we're seeing in the slider is actually denting in the frame and not the slider itself. We're gonna go test square tubes now. Results of the six inch drop test on the square main tube slider. No bending. Very, very slight dent it looks like there. All right, here's the results of the 12 inch drop on the square main tube slider. Very, very slight bend in the main tube. Underneath we've got a pretty, pretty significant dent going on in the bottom edge of the tube. Not a whole lot on the corner. Results of 18 inch drop on the square main tube slider. Uh, like nothing. Seriously. No dent on the slider tube. No bending. No problems. Very clearly, door would still open. Square main tube slider, 24 inch drop to the outer tube. Uh, there's still nothing. No dent in the outer tube. No bending in the main tube or the legs. Gap to the body has not changed. Slider is still straight.
The results of the square main tube slider, 24 inch drop, no tires. Well, our rock is done. Said it had enough. The slider itself is actually incredibly little damage. Uh, you'll notice that it is much closer to the body now. That's really not the slider itself. You can see there's a little bit of bending, twisting going on there. Really not bad. But what we do have up underneath is a very interesting result that we were not expecting. That whole mounting plate has dented the frame by quite a bit. So it's actually mostly the fact that the frame is dented on all three mounting plates that's allowing the slider to be closer to the body. What did we learn today? Well, we learned that both the hot rolled the dom and the square tube sliders all have a great place on a truck like this. We'd like to point out this truck is fairly stock. We haven't added bumpers, sliders to it. It does have a cage in it. It does still have the fuel tank and the engine and all the running gear. It is a runnable truck. Now, which slider should you pick? Well, if you're the kind of person who is just out exploring with your truck, you're running on fire roads or just in the woods, some of the class one, class two type trails, the hot road is going to be just fine for you. There's really no need to upgrade. If you're going to be doing more of the class three, class four kind of trails, you're going to be in a slightly heavier truck that you're doing expedition or longer camp trips with, you probably want to, want to go ahead and upgrade to the dump, especially if you know you're going to end up in some rocks with some drops. Upgrade to the square tube if you're running a very heavy expedition rig, if you're out for a long time, if you're not sure what kind of trails you're going to get into. You definitely would want to go up to the square tube slider. They're quite a lot stronger in twisting. We're not so bothered by the denting on the bottom of the square tube. For one thing, it's on the bottom of the square tube. Nobody's going to see it again. It's not going to have a massive effect on strength until you get really big heavy dents. And they're battle wounds. They give you a nice scar to talk about while you're sitting around the campfire, on your truck at least. I definitely recommend the DOM or the square tube if you're in the expedition. Your trucks tend to be heavier. You're not sure what you're getting into. You're probably going to find some rocks and some drops and things, so you're going to want the stronger sliders there. I hope you guys enjoyed this testing in this video. As always, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email. If you have any questions or want some help deciding which type of slider you need, info for that is in the description down below. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe. We got a lot more in store for this poor truck. And you think you guys are going to really like what we come up with in the end. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great one. If you'd like some more scientific and engineering related data to go along with this, we have done some scientific experiments in compression testing, hardness testing with both the hot rolled and the DOM tubing. Link to the report is in the description below. So go check that out.